Welcome to the Tech to You booth at Hanover Fair and particularly to the winners of the Nanoline contest from the United States. This was the first year for the Nanoline contest, which drew entries from the United States and Germany. Students were asked to build automation related projects using the Nanoline controller. And right now I'm joined by the U.S. winning team from Royal Oak, Michigan, students from the Shrine Academy. And I have three members of the competing team with me. Thanks for joining me today. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. What was the idea that generated this project? Um, uh, we had to do something that related to Wally to um, build something. And we just decided to just go um, basically straight ahead and just build Wally himself. We had guidelines. We had to do something to do with Wally. We had to build a set and some robot from Wally that interacted. How long did it take you to build this? It looks like a very complicated project. I'd say about like maybe one and a half, two months. That's it? Maybe two and a half, but around there. So when now, did you do this at night during school? When did you build the, the robot? At night and early Saturday mornings. What's the coolest thing you've seen here that you've experienced here? Probably the um, Phoenix Contact Headquarters. We went there yesterday. We got to walk uh, among working machines and it was really, really cool. What inspired you to participate in the contest and, and certainly to excel? Okay, seven years ago we started doing the first Lego League at Shrine as a way to bring science and technology to the kids as some extra activity. Uh, I work for General Motors and just like Phoenix Contact, we need to get uh, the kids interested in technology so in the future we do have the, the kids going to school for engineering and fields like that. So after this year's first Lego League competition ended in December, we were asked by Phoenix Contact in uh, January to participate in this contest. We thought what a great activity to way to expand their horizons. Yes, in the first instance, we definitely need young people that can be both inspired and are technology friendly. We know that we have to start early to build up their enthusiasm for technology. However, that's the reason why we start at this point, since we see the enthusiasm and gratification of the young people when they present their project. We want to support this, and therefore we strongly believe that this is the right way forward. The Nanoline contest was a great success, and the participation in Germany and America was very good. In particular, from a group of schools that haven't participated up until now. The comprehensive schools, not the vocational or technical schools. And that's a speciality, this technology, this Nanoline technology, and also the contest. And now we're in a position together, pupils, teachers and industry to inspire and awaken the wonderful and many creative ideas that are slumbering in the heads of young people.